Hi, Derek with Continental Door here and today um, we just set the limits on this LDO50 motor but on this door if you notice here if you zoom in you'll see it's sealing really well in the middle and throughout uh, the whole door except you come to the corner and I don't know if you can see it but there's a little bit of light coming through you could just probably uh, turn up your your clothes force a little bit more and squish everything down but as I said earlier you don't want to um, set a door down just too tight you're just asking for problems um, you could break things uh, your concrete could heave or change in the winter and the summer months um, as it changes through the frost and now all of a sudden it hits the ground thinks it hits something it'll come back up so what I like to do if I see this light what happens usually on a door and packaging I'll run it up for you the way it's packaged in, in its box and it gets kind of stuck that way you can see this seal I'll stop it here in a second this seal is sitting down this bulb seal then it comes to here and it gets a little more smashed and what's happened is the packaging kind of pulls it out so what you do well, there's a screw right here that kind of keeps the seal from sliding in its track so you're gonna pull it out so factory sits it right there on the back you're gonna pull that out what you're gonna do you can see right there it's wadding up so what you want to do is you want to just kind of pinch it with your thumb to where you're alleviating some of that excessive from packaging. You can see it just want, it has a memory there. Until we get into the warmer months, it's always going to be there. And eventually it'll actually wear a hole right there as it comes through on the seal. So you're going to kind of come like this, pinch it, and just come right into the track. It's a little cold right now. And you're going right, there's a track there. You still don't want your seal to slide. Okay, so that's, that's it. So now you can see I kind of reduced the size. It's still dropping in the back. Now let's come back in here and we should notice it's sealing quite a bit more. So we'll run it back down. You can already see, I can tell it looks a lot more square throughout. It's just a little trick I picked up over the years here. Now you can see without overdriving your door, you've got a full seal. It's going to keep the rodents out, the cold out, everything out, and everything inside is going to stay inside. And then uh, out there on the other side, if it's shown as well, just re re uh, repeat what I just showed you. But uh, So that's how to uh, kind of adjust your astragal if you ever notice that. Um, thanks for watching and feel free to look us up online or give us a call. Thanks.